Hashtag Ask Goji Man, I have always struggled with depression and low mood. Are there any good foods or supplements that I can take to help with this? Great question, Chris. Let's get to it. Roll the titles. Welcome back, it's good to see you again. In today's video, I discuss the vegan diet and depression. We will look at what causes depression and what foods and supplements you can take to get a lift in your mood. If we haven't met before, then hi, I'm Goji Man. I'm currently studying for a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year, I'll be studying for a PhD in nutritional science. I make daily videos on plant-based health and nutrition under the hashtag AskGojiMan. So if you have a question for me, then hashtag AskGojiMan in the comments below and I'll choose one of these questions for tomorrow's video for you. So without further ado, to the question. So one thing you should absolutely never try and do if you have depression, anxiety or any other health condition for that matter, is that you should never try and mask your symptoms. You should always look for the underlying cause. Because if you are just masking the symptoms, you are not fixing the underlying problem. Now this is one of the biggest problems with modern medicine today. So if you go to the doctor and say that you have low mood or depression, then the doctor is less inclined to find out why you have low mood or depression. They will simply try and mask the symptoms with a pill. So let's jump into some of the main reasons why in many cases depression is a net result of poor nutrition and lifestyle and then we can have a look at how you fix some of these problems. So if we start with nutrition and look at what nutrients will drive depression if you have low levels. So for example magnesium and potassium. Now these are two of the most essential nutrients in the body for calming the nervous system down. They act like natural tranquilizers. So you could very well say, well, I eat a banana a day for my potassium and that's all very well and good. But a single banana will only give you maybe 400 milligram of potassium a day. In reality, your body needs 10 to 15 times that amount of potassium a day for normal function. So if you are aiming for that four and a half to 5,000 milligram a day of potassium as a bare minimum, that would equate to 10 to 15 cups of fruits and vegetables a day. So if you are being absolutely honest with yourself, realistically, how many cups of fruits and vegetables are you actually eating a day? Let me know in the comments below. And one of the net results of not getting enough potassium every day is that potassium helps control your heart rate. So when you have low levels of potassium, your heart and pulse rate will go up. So for those of you with depression and anxiety who struggle to sleep at night because of those constant raging thoughts and fast pulse, you will know that it's near enough impossible to sleep in this state. You simply can't relax. Next up, we have all the different types of B vitamins. So when you are stressed, anxious or depressed, your body will burn through your B vitamins like they are going out of fashion. And when you have very low levels of B vitamins in your body, your body will fall into an anxious state and you will become restless with symptoms such as restless leg. So the B vitamins along with the potassium and magnesium are very, very important for calming the body down. Another really important nutrient is calcium. Now when you are depressed or anxious, calcium isn't well absorbed and it will literally go straight through you. And calcium is another one of those minerals that really helps with calming the body down. Now I've done a video specifically on why you should avoid calcium supplements at all costs, so be sure to check it out here. Next up we have omega-3s and they are so, so important for cognitive function and for calming the brain and body down. Now a really, really good source of vegan omega-3s is marine phytoplankton and I've done a video specifically on this here, so be sure to check it out. And the final really important nutrient that I want to discuss is iodine. Now iodine is super, super important for your thyroid health and your thyroid is like your fuel pedal in your car. And if you're not getting enough iodine in your diet, then your thyroid system and your endocrine system will run flat out, which will make you either anxious or depressed like that. Next up, I quickly want to touch upon leaky gut and depression. Now, if you have leaky gut and undigested food particles and toxins are getting into your bloodstream, then the net result of this is that you're going to have an inflammatory response, which will make you anxious and depressed very quickly and for prolonged periods of time. I really, really do think that over the next 10 years, we will see from the science that leaky gut and inflammation are by far the biggest drivers for um, depression and anxiety today. And if you suffer with anxiety and depression and you only take away one thing from today's video, then you need to go and buy a book called The Inflamed Minds by Professor Edward Bulmore. Um, and this was released a couple of months ago. 
So Professor Paul Moore is from Cambridge University and is a leading researcher into depression and mental health and he explains very simply and clearly in his book why leaky gut and inflammation is the real root cause of anxiety and depression and not a chemical imbalance in serotonin and other chemicals that the medical profession has told us about for the last 40 years. Next up, and equally as important as leaky gut and vitamin and mineral deficiencies, is controlling your blood sugar levels. So if you have a poor diet of processed refined sugars and your blood sugar levels are constantly up and down, then you will constantly be battling low mood, irritability and brain fog. So if you have anxiety or depression, then you absolutely need to get those processed refined sugars out of your diet. And as I touched upon earlier, potassium is super, super important for maintaining uh, normal blood sugar levels. And so all these different processes and vitamins and minerals all interact and are super important for maintaining an equilibrium in the body. And quickly, before I get into the foods to eat to bring your mood levels up and your anxiety levels down, then I just want to touch upon the hormones and sleep and why you need to fix these areas to resolve your low mood. Now this is a video specifically around nutrition and depression, but if you are chronically stressed and your adrenal glands are firing out loads of cortisol, then you will be caught in a flight or fight mode and you will be constantly anxious and overthinking. Now, many of the foods I talk about towards the end of the video will help with adrenal fatigue, but if you have high amounts of cortisol in your body, then a very quick way of burning some of this off and removing it from the body is to exercise. So make sure you do a lot of walking, so 30 minutes a day or so is great. And then we get to sleep, and oh boy, is this a biggie. Now, if you want to induce depression or anxiety in anyone, the quickest way to do this is to make them sleep deprived. So without sleep, the body can't heal, it can't repair, and it certainly can't rejuvenate. So you have to make sure that you are getting a very good seven to eight hours of good quality sleep every night. Now, with some of these root causes of anxiety and depression out of the way, let's look at some of the foods and supplements that you can eat and take to get back to a happier you. So first we have walnuts, and what do walnuts look like? The brain. Maybe coincidence? But these are super important for brain health as they contain vitamin E, which is a fat soluble vitamin, and also those essential omega-3 fatty acids. Next up are blueberries, and blueberries are incredible anti-inflammatory in the body because of the anthocyanins contained in the blueberries, and they will really help with bringing up your mood levels. Next up is chocolate, which I'm sure will make many of you very happy. So think dark chocolate, so anything over 85% cacao is super good for providing the body with high amounts of iron, uh, magnesium, zinc, copper, etc., which will all calm your central nervous system down. There are also a number of different spices that are very good for the body and for improving mood levels. Turmeric, saffron and nutmeg because of their anti-inflammatory capabilities will really help bring down your anxiety levels and bring up your mood levels. There are also a few different essential oils which obviously aren't nutrition based but they can really help with bringing up your mood levels and helping you with your sleep. So think lavender, orange and rosemary because they are all great for this. So how many times have you smelled lavender, orange or rosemary and you felt instantly more relaxed and calm? So be sure to consider these as an option. Finally, I quickly want to touch upon supplements. Now, many of you know I'm not a big fan of supplements, but if you do have things like leaky gut and candida that are driving your depression symptoms, then supplements may be necessary. So to heal the gut and kill off the bad bacteria, then you can think about probiotics, oregano oil, berberine, and allicin from garlic. And I've done a video specifically on healing the gut, so be sure to check it out here. I finally just want to say that there can be a number of different factors and drivers for anxiety and depression, and you need to find the root cause so that you can alleviate your symptoms. This should always be done under the direct supervision of someone who knows what they're doing and with the available diagnostic and testing practices available. Clinical depression is not something to be messed with, so if you or someone you know has depression, then they need to seek help um, from a doctor or functional doctor or naturopath who knows what they're doing. So that's the end of today's video. I hope it helped. As always, for the rest of you, if you have a question for me, then hashtag Ask Goji Man in the comments below, and I'll choose one of these questions to answer in tomorrow's video for you. And as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.